Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of x, this is equal to 100, so what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here, we have 5 to the power of x times 25 to the power of x, we can express 25 as 5 to the power of 2, raised to the power of x, this is equal to 100. 5 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by m. In this case, we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x, this is equal to 100. So 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x, this is again in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is equal to 100. So we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x. This is 3x and this is equal to 100. To solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. We have log 5 to the power of 3x. This is equal to log 1. So log 5 to the power of 3x, this is in the form of log a raised to the power of b, which we can express as b log a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then log 5 to the power of 3x becomes 3x log 5. This is equal to log 100. Let's divide both signs by log 5. Here also we have log 5. So this means we can simplify log 5 and log 5. So that now 3x is equal to log 100 divided by log 5. Now from here we can express 100. This is the same thing as 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. So we have 3x, this is equal to log 5 to the power of 2, multiplied by 2 to the power of 2, everything here, divided by log 5. We have that log 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of log a, multiplied by b, which can be expressed as log a plus log b. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 3x, this is equal to log 5 to the power of 2 divided by log 5, then plus log 2 to the power of 2 divided by log 5. Now let's apply the power root property here, so that 3x is equal to log 5 to the power of 2 becomes 2 log 5 divided by log 5. Then plus log 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2 log 2 divided by log 5. So log 5 here simplifies so that we have 3x. This is equal to 2 plus 2. Now log 2 over log 5. This is in the form of log a divided by log b. And this can be expressed as log a to base b. So here we have 2, this is log 2 to base 5. Then the next step is to divide on both signs here by 3. So that we have x is equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. This is log 2 to base 5. Since 2 over 3 is common here, we can factor out 2 over 3. So that now into the parenthesis, we have 1 plus log 2 to base 5. So this is the value of x. The next step from here is to verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation by following these steps. Now let's verify that this value of x here satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we end at 5 to the power of x 
times 25 to the power of x. This is equal to 100. So this is 5 to the power of x times 25, which is 5 to the power of 2. This to the power of x, this is equal to 100. So 5 to the power of 2 to the power of x, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, which we can express as a, raised to the power of n times m. So we have 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 2x. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So here we have 5 to the power of x plus 2x here. This is 3x. This is supposed to give us a value of 1. So let's substitute the value of x here. We have 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by x, which is 2 over 3, into the parentheses. This is 1 plus rock 2 to base 5. Close the parentheses. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So let's simplify 3 and 3 here so that we have 5 to the power of. 2 times 1, this is 2, then plus 2 times rock 2 to base 5, this is 2, rock 2 to base 5. This should give us a value of 100. Now, given that 2 is a power here, we can express this as 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 raised to the power of 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, we have that 5 to the power of 2 plus rock 2 squared to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. Now, 5 squared, this is equal to 25, multiplied by 5 to the power of rock 2 to base 5. Remember, this is 2 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a, and this should give us a value of b. Now, applying this property, then 5 to the power of rock 2 squared to base 5, this should give us a value of 2 squared, which is 4. So essentially, we have 25 times 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 100. So 25 times 4, this is 100, which is equal to 100. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is equal to 2 over 3, into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 2 to base 5, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Like this video, and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.